One of my teachers at the Kansas School for the Deaf, Mr. Edward Foltz, graduated from Gallaudet in 1915. He was my math teacher as well as the boys' coach. One day, he went to the drugstore, and the manager told him that one of his boys had come in and written a note which said, I want Sunday, spelled S-U-N-D-A-Y. He asked Mr. Fultz what he thought this meant. After puzzling over this for a minute, Mr. Fultz said, Oh, I get it. What he meant was that he had come in from an ice cream sundae. Mr. Foltz, his name sign is an F like this on the arm, realized how atrocious the boy's spelling was. From that point on, while conducting class, he would glance around the room while the students were chatting, interrupt them and say, spell the English word for that sign. One of the students said that they felt sick to their stomach. Oh, you have a crazy stomach, he replied, spelling out crazy and stomach. What is the English word for this sign? Five fingers down? He realized that the students couldn't spell the words for what they signed, so he decided to do an exercise in the classroom. Whenever we had five or ten minutes before dismissal, he would bang on his desk and ask us to pay attention. He would say, spelling, ten. We knew ten meant to number our paper from one to ten. Now, spell this. And we said, that's an easy one, Jim. No, the entire word, um, gymnasium. Then he said to spell the following word, the hint being that it means exercise but begins with a C. We looked around at each other, mulling it over, and then came up with the word calisthenics. He would do several words like this. One activity which I really liked was when he would strike a pose such as stand with his hands on his hips and ask us to come up with the English vocabulary word that described what he was doing. Bewildered, we looked down at our arms and then spelled arms akimbo. We had spelling often which some of the boys and girls didn't like, but found that it did teach us to spell correctly. Now, I wonder why schools for the deaf don't set up spelling bees. What do you think about having spelling bees in school? <laughs>